let's have the e solution now for problem seven in Siegel's biochemical calculation. It starts in page 319 and it goes over to page 320. So this is problem seven, problem number seven, and you can find it in page 319 and 320. Uh, and the problem states that an enzyme with a Km of 2.6 10 to the power of negative 3 molar, uh, the enzyme Km equals 2.6 10 to minus 3 molar, negative 3, uh, was assayed at the initial concentration of 0.3 molar. So the concentration of the substrate was 0.3 molar, very high concentration. The observed velocity was 5.9, 10 to the power of negative 5 moles per liter. Also, the velocity was 5.9, 10 to negative 5 mole, mo molar per minute. All right, so the first thing that comes to mind in here is that this uh, is a concentration of the substrate is much higher than the Km. So we are again uh, in a situation this velocity and this concentration of substrate. We have this hyperbolic curve in here when we have a very high concentration of the substrate as compared to the Km, we are already in a zero order. So basically the velocity that you are being given is the V max. That's the information that you can have so far. And he's asking if the initial substrate concentration were two, 10 to the power of negative five molar what will be the product concentration after five minutes and ten minutes? Two questions, okay? So uh, he gives a initial substrate concentration now of uh, two ten to the power of negative five molar, which is a much smaller concentration than the Km now, right? And he asks us uh, what would be the concentration of the product after five minutes? and the concentration of this product after 10 minutes. Two interesting questions. Uh, first thing here is that we have a uh, concentration of the substrate now. It's much smaller than the concentration of uh, the, the Km, right? Km is still here, and that's the concentration of the substrate that we are going to be working with. All right, so what can we say about that? is that when we have a situation like that, it's a first order reaction. Uh, basically now we are working in this area, all right? So that's a first order reaction. And the Michael's mend equation becomes much more simplified. V max over Km times concentration of the substrate, okay? So we already did that in the problem before. We know that this, uh, ratio here is the k right we have the v max and we have the km so we can calculate the k so k uh, in this case here is going to be v max which is uh, 5.9 10 to the power of negative 5 in molar per minute i'm going to put this unit here so we don't forget about that and divided by km, km was given initially 2.6 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. So the unit here is going to be uh, minutes are minus 1, and we just needed to plug in these numbers and divide by 2.6 10 to minus 3, and that would give us uh, 0 0.0227 minutes minus 1. All right, so that's what we get for the K. And the, all he did here was to provide us K indirectly. Now let's move it up a little bit and let's continue the solution of the problem. Now we know that it, based on this formula here, the concentration of the substrate at any time is equal to uh, the concentration of the substrate initially times exponential K. T. And when this thing is useful, it's useful when it's the first order reaction, right? That's when we have that. That the concentration of the substrate decreases exponentially. Uh, so now we have the time, that's five minutes, 
and we found out the k. So we can calculate here any ratio between s and s0 uh, because we have now this formula, we have the k, and this was a five minutes was given to us. So let's calculate the concentration of the substrate at five minutes. So the concentration of the substrate at five minutes would be the concentration, initial concentration, which was given, and it's highlighted in yellow above, 10 to minus five. Now multiplied by E minus K, K is going to be 0 0.0227, multiplied by the time, which is five minutes in this case here, right? And it's okay to have five minutes directly because we are working with units of minutes, both K, right? So let's let's plug in these numbers and see what we get. 27 times five, change the sign, take the exponential, multiply by two, 10 to the negative five, so what we get here is 1.78, 1.78, 10 to the power of negative 5 molar. That's the concentration of the substrate at 5 minutes. The concentration of the substrate. But uh, we want to know the concentration of the product, right? So the concentration of the product at five minutes is going to be the initial concentration of the substrate. That was two, 10 to minus five. And now we have only 1.78, 10 to the power of negative five of the substrate. So how much is the product then? The difference of that is going to be uh, the product. So yeah, I think that's the same in order, same power, so that's going to be 2.14, 10 to minus 6 molar. 2.16 2 micromolar, or that 5 minutes, okay? Now, more space for us here to work, and let's continue with the solution for 10 minutes. Exactly the same thing repeated now. We start with t 2, 10 to the power of negative 5 uh, times E minus 0 0.0227. This time now multiply by 10. And in that case here, times 2, 10 minus 5. So in that case here we get the substrate at uh, 10 minutes is 1.59, 10 to minus five molar. Uh, what will be the product at that time? You started with two, point, two 10 to the power of negative five of the starting material, and we consume it now 1.59, Ten to minus five. That's what we have at that minute. That ten minutes. Uh, so the difference of that there are forty one. So that's uh, change the count. Yeah, no need to calculate it for this one. Ten to minus six molar. So at ten minutes, five minutes, we have a two point one micromolar. At five minutes, the product. We have, uh, that was five minus 2.14 micromolar. And the concentration of product at 10 minutes is going to be 4.1 micromolar, okay? So we calculated how much we have of S at a particular time. And we know that this, whatever S that we have is related now to the amount of product that has been generated, right? We start with S alone, no P at all, and then S is starting decreasing, and P is going to be increasing proportionally to that, all right? All right, so that's the solution for problem seven.